Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a macro in Microsoft Excel 2007 or later. And the, the way I'm going to demonstrate that may not be the most productive way to create a macro, but regardless I want to show you what a macro can do and what you can do with recording macros in Microsoft Excel. Now the very first thing that we're going to do here is go to our developers tab. If for any reason the developers tab is not visible, it's because you haven't set that up in your preference yet. You can simply do that by right clicking the, on the top, hit customize quick access toolbar, go to your popular section and check mark show developers tab in ribbon. Now in this case we have our macro security already set up. All macros are enabled and what I'm going to go ahead and do is start recording a macro. And I'm going to call this draw. With the macro name draw, of course, you can kind of get an idea as to what I'm going to do already. I'm going to draw a little something here in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to select column A, go all the way down to, let's just say, AZ, and narrow this down to two pic um, width 2, pixels 19. Now, I've never done this before, so I have no idea how this is going to come out, but let's just draw a little heart here. I'm going to go on and select 4 and 4. Color that red. I think that gives us a good basis to start. Maybe. Let's find out. I'm going to start coloring these cells red. I don't know if we have any good artists out there, but this is just nothing but pixels and squares, so this shouldn't be too bad. Alright, looks like we're on track here and making a heart. This can actually be pretty time consuming, which is why we're putting it into a macro. And we're almost done, so just bear with me. Looks like we're all set here. We have our heart. Now let's just zoom out. We're currently at 100%, and we can go down to. 40% so it looks like a smoother heart and now go to your developers tab and hit stop recording and the very first thing I want to show you is the code that is created by Microsoft Excel to create this macro so we're going to go to go to our macros under the draw one go on and select edit and this is what the code looks like you have sub draw the columns were selected with the selection we adjust the column with the two and then in order to first start with the heart I had create I had selected two ranges which are selected right here we activated them and Excel will will color those based on the colors that we selected color 255 pattern color index automatic pattern solid and you have all this code here that we use to create the heart of course there are more productive means of macros but this one I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of uh, as to what the code looks like and what you can do with it so now this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna close out the visual basic environment because we still have the Excel sheet open I'm gonna go to go to sheet 2 sheet 2 I'm gonna run that same macro there's two ways you can run the macro from the view tab you can go to your macros and hit view macros and run it from here or same thing from the developers tab just hit your macros and then run the macro. By me running the macro with sheet 2 selected, all of the actions that we took on sheet 1 will now be replicated on sheet 2. So I'm going to go ahead and run the code. And there you have it. Now again, setting up these macros, there are much more productive ways that you can that you can use macros. In this case, you know, we could use it to sort a list. Let's just say that in many companies you may download data from an internet website that might have employee data and let's just say you want to run a macro to rank the employees by their performance I mean that's another that's a more productive way of course for macros in your work environment I don't think your employer is going to want you creating macros to do little drawings in Microsoft Excel so keep it productive I hope you enjoyed this video and found it ed educational thank you for watching